Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as Four Kids at One Four Seven. Happy thirteenth of December. I think this is well. This is the halfway mark. Now, as soon as we're halfway through this square, we are halfway. Once we have finished, we are over halfway, um, which is sad and exciting all at the same time. Um, We've got little stockings ready for Christmas for this one. Uh, so I'm working with a pen that was gifted to me by Stacy. Let me just check. Yes, it was Stacy uh, that was gifted to me by Stacy. This one does use wax. So I have my little wax pot ready. And I'm working with the Zesty Tray. This was from our limited edition launch on March 2022 for this one. Um, it's nice to sort of go through all of the trays each time um, I do a whip and waffle series. But yeah, we are on the 13th, so let's get my grey. And what I did notice, because I did line up the sheets beforehand, just because I feel like it's a very tedious task, but what I did notice is that when we do the 14th, it's fully blocked in well by its side counterparts not by its top ones but it's a fully blocked in one so exciting day tomorrow right let me get comments up and ready yes i think i am at the bottom of the comments to make sure that i cover them all and let's zoom in and see how far i need to shuffle because i think i do need to shuffle this down a little bit there we go I'm not quite curling over the desk so I think we'll call that close enough I hope everybody is well and enjoying well I know a lot of you are enjoying doing your advent or doing your own your own projects I'm loving seeing everybody's reactions and comments and things on the Facebook group which is exciting I wrote myself a to-do list today trying to get everything out of my brain and get organized as much as I can because Christmas is looming it's well not looming I think that's a bit ominous but it is coming in thick and fast um, all the preparations we do for potentially one or two days in the year but yeah it's it's on its way and it will be here before we know it I've got bits of wax falling out my pen <coughs> these are some of the things I don't miss about using glue dots but anyway, comments and questions as and when they arrive. So, Crafting with Beautiful Chaos. I love that. Uh, she just said, oh my goodness, she says your cross stitch is gorgeous. Thank you. I fell in love with it. That's why I did it. It's an amazing design, but it is a Russian pattern. Um, Rebecca, she says she met a Luna at the dog park today she said she was a little blue healer uh, she said her dog charlie uh, that's a golden retriever uh, and luna had a great time playing together our luna, our luna likes and dislikes dogs all at the same time so she likes them and she wants to go and greet them but when she greets them she wants to get away from them it's rather interesting yet when she goes to the groomers which she's actually due today she seems to be quite happy being about whatever other dogs are there so maybe it's just the situation who knows it's one of those it's like kids and when they go play group isn't it they're all fine but as soon as you're there all of a sudden they want you instead and they don't want to be anywhere near these other children or at least some kids are like that. Uh, Lisa, she says, listening to the one comment she said talking about cover sheets, she said, if you do end up doing an advent 
diamond painting again next year she said it would be a neat idea to also offer numbered cover sheets that fit each square she said especially useful for those of us that use cover sheets anyway it is it is something I might look into it is something that may be labor intensive um, if it's me that needs to make the cover sheets right um, but I'll definitely bear it in mind in case it is something that we can implement as an option as an option for people to be able to do I'm still hoping that my initial idea we can find a way to make my initial idea work for December next year but I don't really want to say too much about it in case it doesn't work so that that's a, a, a still works in progress of which I always seem to have more ideas for works in progress than I have time to implement but I'll keep keep going as long as I can and hopefully some of them will happen um Kathy she said wow she said I thought day seven which was the candles was her favorite she said until she saw the trees on day eight today uh, she said it's beautiful uh, the ABs are gorgeous and she said it really makes it feel like a night scene she said she enjoyed this waffle in particular lots of laughs she says and much needed fun happy dotting everyone she said see you tomorrow each waffle seems to be really different I mean I know we do touch on the same topics especially if it's comments on a topic that I've discussed before it sometimes comes around in a little loop and sometimes you know people are playing catch up and watching some a few days behind so we re-comment on other stuff again uh, but I still feel as though each waffle ends up being a random different waffle uh, Anne-Marie she said yay you got it finished I think that's in relation to the cross stitch she said it's beautiful she said she's loving the advent as always um, she says love the diamond painting she said the paint gem minis she says never really appealed to her but she loves that this is one small picture every day building to a larger one she says she's loving the 24 day advent too uh, the brush and pan set she says has already been so useful so that was one of the items in the 24 day advent it was day two i think so i can speak about that one freely it was definitely right at the beginning um, day two or day three she says she can't wait to open the rest she said she would love to see the zesty wolf in a square oh uh, i'd have to see about that one because getting more zesty wolf in the round is a straightforward order of more whereas in the square it would need charting again it would need recharting so i'm not sure if we would be purchasing enough to do a full rechart but never say never um never say never on things but we will see what happens and what we can get in place right i on a white background now so let's tip out a few not quite got to even got to the bottom of my first tub of white and i've just chipped, tipped absolutely loads into this so let's see how many we use up it is only a zesty tray normally i do flip between both of them so normally for the likes of this big background i would probably sway towards a bigger tray because there's quite a lot so I tend to flip between zesty and large and I often do the steps the little steps in three or four rows and do all my steps across um, 
Elise says she's playing catch up on my videos. Uh, she said as work has been pretty busy, so she's commenting on the painting on the on day six at the minute. She says, but she's getting she has been getting more me time currently. Uh, she says on her current work in progress technology meltdown. It is from Diamond Art Club. She says she's almost finished with only two and a bit sections left. Then it's a decision on what to do next. Uh, she says she's thinking she may do a little bit of her heaven and earth design while she makes of a choice, while she makes the decision as to which one she should do next. However, she says she's also playing catch up while she's doing her dishes. She said, so you sit on my windowsill talking to me while I wash away. I always did that. And I still do when I'm cleaning, though we now have a dishwasher. So I don't tend to have to with the dishes. But yeah, YouTube and dishes goes absolutely perfect together. Um, she says, congratulations on your cross-stitch completion. Uh, she said, when you ha said you had something... I thought, ooh, what's she up to? Uh, she said, and when you showed it, she said she screamed out uh, with no one listening. She said, probably a good thing. Uh, she screamed out and said, oh, wow, Rebecca finished it. I think we should all have a party when I finish my heaven and earth design as well, by the way. Um, she said, thanks for sharing. It looks absolutely amazing. She said, another one you can tick off the list. Yay. Yeah, that's another one of those projects that I have started, but not actually finished. Well, I have now, but I hadn't finished. Uh, she said, safe travels to Australia. Uh, and she said, she hopes you enjoy your stay and enjoy seeing your mum and dad. She says, but I know we will miss these videos. Yeah, there will still be some videos while I'm away. I am planning on filming well as many as I can and then I will space them out I am only away for two weeks um, while there won't be any whip and waffles until I am back and over jet lag I will be posting or trying to get some videos prepared ready so that I can as I say spread them out there might just be a few less but get videos up for while I'm away so that you guys have something to watch especially if you get some downtime uh, over Christmas between Christmas and New Year depends what job you do as to whether it's something that's likely or not but if you do I want there to be videos there to help keep you in the diamond painting mood um, Okay, she says, hi Rebecca, she says she would love it if I could produce another advent calendar diamond painting, she said, for next December's Whip and Waffle. She says, but she appreciates that those who were lucky enough to purchase this beautiful advent uh, this year may not want to do another one next year. She said, so it would be balls." Uh, to purchase this year's one next year as she love love loves the colour scheme well let's see what happens with the design plan I have in mind uh, what we may be able to do I say this is more me talking out loud than any definites uh, but we may be able to if we can pull off what I want to for next year then what I may look at doing is having, you know, X amount of this design as well. So that if people did miss out and actually prefer it over what we do or want to get both, they have that option. We'll have to see what we can manage. Sorry if you can hear that knocking. I'm not actually sure what that is. That might be Megan cooking tea. I think that might be some chopping going on because one of my walls is next to the kitchen. So apologies if you can hear that. Um, but I'm sure I will be enjoying something beautiful off the back of it. 
um, All Things Crafty by Kaz. She says her day nine will be late uploading. She says she wasn't able to complete it this morning uh, due to finishing nights this morning and then attending a virtual funeral uh, of an aunt who passed away in early November. Well, completely understandable. After nights, you need to try and get your sleep schedule back to some sort of normality to be able to continue to function. I have done night shifts before, though I only ever did them like one night every now and then. And oh, it mucked me up for what felt like so long. Um, and yeah, virtual funerals are are not the best. I have I have attended one of those, and it is definitely different. Is what I can say. Um, Sarah Jane says she love she'd love a zesty wolf. Noted. I am keeping notes of well, not note as in their names, and I'm going to send you an email. But I am noting how many people do say that they would love to be able to get a zesty wolf. Um, and I will, I will, I'm sure. Well, me and Sam will be communicating soon in relation to possibilities of reprints of things um, and making some of them available at different times. Uh, Cat Lady, she said it's been a busy day for her today. Uh, she says, but she saved time to do an hour diamond painting with me. Thank you. She says she has tidied and rearranged the dining room uh, and she's put the Christmas tree up in the corner, but she hasn't decorated it yet. She said it's their anniversary today. So she'll be cooking our anniversary meal once she has completed square nine. Happy anniversary for the ninth. Belated. Uh, she says she has a new glue dot in her new pen. And she's just spilled her three tens. Oops. She says, luckily, it was just on the table. See, because I diamond paint on the couch, quite often when I spill mine, I spill them all over myself. I actually did that last night with a few. Um... We, I was messing with a new tray that we'd printed. Same design, we're not bringing out any new design. Uh, same design of tray, um, but we did ch tweak a couple of things in the way we tell it, tell the 3D printer to print it. So I used it for a few of my colours just to check everything was the same and it didn't affect the quality in any way. Um, and yeah I didn't have a stopper in it because it had come straight off the test print on the printer and I didn't have a stopper in and I should have known I tried not to pick it up so the tray I was using I took the stopper out of it put it in the tray that I needed to you know have a go with and test I put it into that tray gave it a test and then popped my stopper back into my original tray that I was using and used that one. However, when I changed colours, I accidentally picked up the test tray and didn't realise. So, of course, as soon as I finished the collar, I lifted it up to tip all the drills down and they all came flying out the other end. All over my lap. Luckily... It wasn't a huge amount like this. I was, I didn't have too many to do, so I hadn't tipped too many trays into my into my tray. So I did only lose about five or six. But as soon as I did it, I knew exactly what I'd done, which is why when I take my stopper out um, to pop them into you know back into the container I keep it in my hand until it's back in the tray because there is so many times once we first had these trays that I would put my stopper down 
for some reason. There's no need for me to, but I would just pop it on the side, tip them into the tray, close up the lid, and then potentially completely forget that I hadn't put it back. And I had so many accidents then that now I don't let go of the stopper. If it's not in the tray, it's in my hand, which means I can't pick up my pen properly, which means I have to put the stopper back before I can diamond paint again. And so far that normally stops me having any accidents in that way. Uh, the other way is I just end up jumping at some noise or something on the TV and the drills go flying out the top. <laughs> but that teaches me sometimes to not pay attention to whatever hubby is watching on the TV and get shocked by whatever noise appears. Uh, Jackie says she or says if she starts at the bottom, she always starts at the bottom right. She says, and if it's the top, she starts at the top right. I think we get in a habit because I much prefer putting a diamond in that way on the canvas, which I think is why I like the steps because I'm coming in this way and that's the way my hand gravitates to doing it, which is what makes me often start bottom left hand corner and bring it in that way. And then I can bring it in closer to the diamonds that I've done. And yeah, it's just my habit to go bottom to top. Though I have done I Choose You from the top to the bottom. And while it was better for that canvas, I think my next one I'm going back to doing the bottom to the top. That also reminds me, I have been thinking, and you guys can let me know what you think. For my next large canvas, uh, when I have finished doing I Choose You, normally I would automatically um, use the decision wheel to pick my next canvas. However, I do have a couple of... Um, a couple of canvases in my large stash. In fact, I have a, I have two, I think, at the moment. One from a company you've not seen yet, though you will do soon. Um, and one from, I've got a few from Carrot Art, Carrot Dot Art, that are large canvases, higher quality. I've unboxed a few from Carrot.Art and that's probably the company I'm thinking of at the moment but what I'm also thinking is I've done a few unboxings of, of their items I potentially will do more in the future but I have yet to actually do one of their canvases um, and when I was doing an unboxing video today for the new to me company it did make me think that I am showing you guys these canvases and they're amazing quality. Don't get me wrong, the canvases look good quality, the drills look good quality. But you also never really know until you work on a canvas how nice it is. Uh, especially with the drills more so. There is, you get a different level of knowledge when you actually do it. So, for example, my Dreamers Designs, my original Dreamers Designs, unboxing, amazing quality. Go to work on it, couldn't see the symbols with a light pad. There is that potential for elements of it to not be as good as I think, and in turn, you know, go, um, I'm telling the truth when I unbox it, because I don't believe in, you know, I'm not going to just say it's amazing when it's not but I kind of feel like I should do one of theirs so that I am sure of the quality when I do any future unboxings and then in turn do one of this company that I've just unboxed some for that will be shown on there'll be one shown on my other channel add more zest with diamonds and then there will be one on this channel 
while I'm away. Um, so yeah, let me know your thoughts. When I have finished I Choose You, should I do one of my carrot dot art paintings so that I have physically done one? from that company and know what the quality is like um, and then you know carry on with my decision wheel after I have made sure I've covered each company with at least one of their paintings so yeah that popped into my head today because these things do and it was partly because I was unboxing a new company and the drills do look amazing, the canvas looks amazing, really happy with what I've seen um, but then there is also that back of my mind, well if I don't do this painting for a while um, is there going to be something that I have completely missed when unboxing it? So let me know your thoughts, that might help me make a decision for when I have finished I Choose You of which I'm still working on the bottom row and I am hoping to get it done within the next well I'm kind of hoping within the next few days but it's probably going to be more like at least a week but I'm hoping to get it done before I leave um, and get it de-kitted and one kitted up um, for you guys while I'm away or potentially just when I get back depending on how many videos I get to do so let me know your thoughts um, and I say I do see your comments when they come through on email so even if I've not got them to them on a waffle at least when I get to reading out those comments I'll be able to let you know what I've decided to do plus there is one that I'm really really interested in doing from Carrot Art I know which painting it will be if I do one I know straight away which one it will be um, though there is three of them that I'm excited to do but there's one of them that I think would win out over the others so yeah let me know your thoughts uh, Liz she says thanks for this Rebecca she says she's hoping that she doesn't fall asleep uh, and can get some goodies from tonight's shop launch because this comment was prior to shop launch hopefully you got everything you wanted Liz uh, she says, love the pen and the tray, she says, that I used today. She said she would love to get Zesty Wolf, as she wasn't diamond painting last year. So she didn't get the chance to purchase it then. She says she's finished her round number nine. She says, just as you were starting on the white. She says she must be on a roll. Uh, she has a... Busy weekend visiting friends and family. Um, so she may have to catch up on day 10 and 11 next week. She says as they have lots of driving slash sat in the car ahead of her um, this weekend. Well, when you get caught up, that will end up then being your bit of me time, which is all good. There is a couple of little, this is the bottom of my pot that's in there and the last of the diamonds and there is just some little, little tiny white little dots from the diamonds and I just managed to get one caught on the canvas then. Once I, if, I don't think I will this time, I think I've got too many diamonds in my tray. But normally that's another reason that I em completely like to empty out the tray before tipping any more of a colour in if I need it. Because then if I do have anything like these tiny little bits, I could try and pick them up with my pen and pop them into my trash pot. But they're more likely to get stuck in the wax and then have a trouble getting out of the wax or indeed the glue dot. So I tend to wait until I've used all the diamonds up in the tray and then ditch them. But it might have to be the next square that I do with a lot of white when I use up the last of the pot that I do it. Though I probably would just launch them in the bin. Because the trashy is ideal for bobbing in, 
a few diamonds you know that have little bubbles in or are not quite the right shape okay if you want to go there you go there you're not going there it's not the right symbol I'm losing diamonds on the way to the spot um, yeah it's great for you know popping one diamond in and just knocking it off your pen uh, but it's not it's not made for tipping a load of bits of diamonds in yeah I think I'm losing the stickiness on my wax I don't miss these days of refilling my wax often that's for sure uh, cross stitch and tat she said funny for you today she said as I was working as she was working on her advent uh, yesterday she said she set her tray down for a moment uh, because she needed a new glue dot she said hubby came in and picked up the tray uh, she thinks he was trying to get the diamonds right side up for him up for her sorry however uh, he used his numb hand from the stroke apparently he shook it too hard and diamonds flew everywhere uh, she heard him say, oh bleep, sorry. Uh, she said he did help me pick them all up. And the look on Santa's face was priceless. She said it's funny that of the few words that he can say um, after his stroke, she said a few ones he can say, that is the one that comes out often uh, and he doesn't even realise. She says when we do Santa... Um, he says the ho 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 and she says the Merry Christmas uh, he does try hard to say it and it but it comes out garbled though he does keep trying uh, she said it took him nine years to learn to say the ho 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 um, kids never seem to notice she said uh, they are in awe of his very real beard um, and he even lets them tug on it she said, loving the advent box and the calendar painting. She said, so nice to get some me time in this busy season. She says, thanks for all that you do, Rachel. I think we've all been there shaking the diamonds far too hard. Do I do the ABs? I'm actually tempted to do the ABs. Let's do them. Let's do the sprinkling of grey ABs in here. I like the fact that we get plenty of diamonds as well, so you can always change these out for one of the other ABs. Or even, you know, the non-AB. If that's the way that you prefer, you've got those options. But I think they look pretty. Uh, Janice, she says, hi Rebecca. She says she hasn't opened her 12-day advent calendar yet. She says she's waiting patiently. So I'm guessing you're waiting for the 13th and you're going to start opening it then. Very good patience skills. Test those skills to the limit. Uh, she says she's enjoying the whips uh, while arranging her drills. She says she has four paintings to de-kit uh, because it's not really her thing uh, she, and, but she has no more containers for new projects. Well, you either need to get de-kitting or you need to buy more storage. It's going to be one or the other. But I do try to make myself de-kit before starting a new project. While I quite enjoy de-kitting, I do prefer kitting up um, I, I just love the excitement of a new project so I always try to make sure that I de-kit first before I'm allowed to start a new project because then I've tidied up and then I can plough on right that is one lot of AB Sparkle so let me think I'm trying to work out now whether to work from here 
or whether to do all the middle of the socks and then do the other parts or whether to do the black I just I just don't know let's no let's just start from here I'm overthinking making a decision now let's just do the foot of this stocking see if I've ended up losing too much of my wax to that AB coating we seem to be all right at the minute um, Beth says hi there she says quick question she says what are the sizes of your bags that you use to store your diamonds she says are they three by four size um, so there's two different types of bags I store my diamonds in um, I'm not sure which ones it is you're asking about if it's the ones in my photo box that I store my spare diamonds in so the ones that then go in my photo storage and line up by, like pretty little soldiers uh, for those I use a two by three inch bag and then I do have bags for my AB diamonds and these ones are bigger so these are seven and a half by 15 centimeters is the measurement in this one I'm not sure what that is in inches if I go across the full length, that one is actually three inches by four and a well, a bit over four and a half inches for those. So it depends which bags. Those sparkly bags I tend to use for storing my AB diamonds. I'm just going to go pot diving for one of those. I have one little brown one. And then I'm going to do the black. I know, I'm changing this all up all over the place, but I'm going to do the black next. Um, but they're both, well, the, the silver book, book blah, blah, blah. silver bags that we sell with a book ring are in my shop. Uh, so if you go to admorzest.com and on shop, you will find them there so that you can see those in detail for the clear grip seal bags that i use in my storage if again you go to my website but go to favorites our favorites it's called i have linked there both the bags i used to use which are a little bit thinner and a lot cheaper the storage bags I also have the thicker bags listed there as well that are two inches by three inches and they're both listed under favorites and spare storage so you can find links for them there which will give you probably more details on um, the quality and like the thickness of the bags and the sizes and everything there as well hopefully that helps you um, Nancy says she would also love a zesty wolf um, she says maybe she could get him with a few shop goodies oh yes he travels very well with a few shop goodies he travels very well with some accessories right I don't want to do my ABs yet. I'm going to do my little garland. Far too many diamonds. Uh, Sherry says, you were right. She says, day nine is brilliant. I do like day nine, little snow globe. Uh, Colouring with Lou, she says, go you. She says, congratulations on finishing your Christmas crossed it she said it's beautiful she says she is totally loving a brown paper bag she says every other day for advent uh, and she'll definitely be buying one next year if they're available she says maybe lucky enough to even get a day 24 
next year. We're trying for it. We're trying. Um, Darcy says, yes, she says, most people don't quite realise how many things they have until they start packing. She says uh, she doesn't have a lot of furniture. However, she does have two storage units full uh, and two more here at home, she says, full. Uh, she'll be doing a big yard sale in the future. Um, she's no longer quilting. Uh, therefore, she said she has quite several books and acrylic templates. Sorry, I'm trying to find another one. She says, plus uh, a bunch of miscellaneous fabric to unload. It is amazing how we collect stuff, isn't it? I keep trying to think of stuff that I can clear to free up more space, but it just doesn't happen very often. Every now and then I do, I need to be in the right frame of mind to be a bit brutal, uh, brutal and thorough. Um, and sometimes, yeah, just try and have a good clear out, but it's also having a place for it to go can quite often be the problem as much as I can turn around and say oh yeah that can go that can go that can go then actually you know getting it to an, a good new home can take so long it clutters up even more while it's waiting to go to its new home so yeah sometimes you're just fighting a battle um Jeanette she says hello Rebecca she says while watching this video she said she almost forgot that it was December launch day while she was watching it on the 9th. Uh, she said she had to pause the video and get her goodies. She said she did make two different purchases. She said she hopes that we'll be able to send them together. She says thank you for everything that you do. Yes, Jeanette, we did get both of yours. They were combined. Uh, on launch, we do check for combined or, or for duplicate orders from the same email address. And provided they're going to the same physical address, um, then we do try and combine them for you. So, yes, we did catch it. Um, we do still need to do any potential overpayments of postage refunds. Uh, it is on the made to-do list so that will be coming as soon as possible um, but yeah it's it's on the to-do list to do so that will be with you asap our priority was getting the orders out um, as always is to get the orders out and then we'll sort out the admin stuff after so they did all ship yesterday um, and yeah, as soon as possible, you will see any pennies that may be owed coming back to you. Uh, I do think when we ne do our next big launch, though, what we call our big launch, which tends to be the Advent painting and indeed the Advent calendar, uh, we won't be able to combine orders. But we'll let you know if that's the case, uh, because the last launch, it took me three hours I think, to sort out the orders um, and that, you know, included various things. We do tend to split the orders between international and UK. Uh, it's just easier when we're doing the postage with so many to, to bulk them together. Uh, but in turn, trying to pull out combined orders. Um, we do have a spreadsheet that tells us which is combined, but then actually pulling out the paper ones, it, it took us an hour just to do that part of it. Um, so yeah, with so many orders, we may need to not to put that on a pause for next launch, but we'll see. We'll see what it's like and if we're launching them all at the same time and what exactly is happening closer to the time but if that is the case you will get plenty of warning um, Anna she says she's been doing one square on the advent and one section on her diamond art club Christmas painting that she started last month she said so far so good she said she is moving at the end of the month though 
to a smaller apartment in her complex so she does have a ton of packing to do she says if you can't keep up with both of them she's hoping that she can at least keep up with the advent hopefully same complex is at least a bit easier i suppose it's it's all about how much crossover time you potentially have you know if you have a day or two's grace where you can start moving but don't have to be out of the other one it's often easier otherwise it's full-scale madness packing isn't it full-scale craziness i am losing sticky on this right at the end um fair dust she says hi rebecca she says she's going to try and get an advent calendar 25 days she said next year she said she's got so many paintings in her stash uh, she said what she did when she had um, a dog and a cat here for the first year is she said they put a vinegar uh, around the tree or a baby gate she said after you'd put presents under it um, and she usually hid their stockings she said to bring out christmas day have a good holiday to you and your family and she says she loves how the canvas is turning out thank you uh, she's been pretty good with the tree so far we did think we may have to pull her old playpen out to put around the tree because we have had that out when she had her op when she was spayed we did pull that out for her to be able to sleep in at night with the cone on her head it was it was easier to pop her in that um, than in her crate but so far she's doing okay uh, she's not left well she's not been left long alone long enough um, to attack the tree rather than try and figure out where we are normally her priority is where have you gone not what can i do while you're gone which I suppose is a blessing in disguise. Right, day 13 is done. It looks, it looks more than half done now. In fact, it looks like it should be a few days even further ahead um, than it did before, but I am absolutely loving it. Uh, we get to fill in a block down here, really get the, the look I feel like this one shows the look of the shading really, really well. And maybe once we've done this one tomorrow, it will come out a bit more. Like you can see it here, but I feel, I don't know whether it's just because that one's black next to the blue. Uh, but I feel that the blue next to the yellow really makes it pop a little bit more. And it'll be really nice when we do around the likes of number 13 or when rude camera um yeah or when we do day 21 and get around these white ones as well i think it's gonna look so good right stop looking ahead enjoy loved doing day 13 uh though i can't wait to do day 14 because i love them all anyway thank you all so much for joining me and i'll speak to you all again soon